Hello YouTube, we're going to disassemble, clean, repair this drill. I have a picture of everything. A little Black & Decker quarter inch drill. We have another cord for it. These only had a two pronger. We're upgrading to a grounded cord. This is off, I think that old air compressor motor. I hope it's not too big around. It's the only one I have. We do have another one. Uh, just in case, it's kind of a funky plug on it. I hate to have to use it. This is a smaller diameter, but we do have one for another project, I guess. But we'll get going here and we'll keep this kind of a short do it video. I've done videos on a couple other drills. We uh, give you plenty of pictures of what they look like inside. We already loosened this by putting our Allen wrench in here. Smacking with a hammer real quick and it'll come loose. This one's opposite, has a stud coming out. This does not have threads going in. It's still a good chuck. I'm glad of that because I don't know if that bolt comes out of there or we'll ever find one. But this is kind of an oddball to me to find that. So we'll get busy here and we'll show you what it looks like as <clears throat> excuse me, we'll show it as it comes apart. Stay tuned. Okay, we're going to show us how we took it off. We cleaned everything up, but just to show you, you got to remember which way things go. I took pictures. You got a little kind of a springy washer. That's kind of like a fiber stuff. And then when you take this off, which this could be easy to put on backwards, this one's a simple one. A lot of them have more than just the two gears, the one off the shaft, and this one. And you've got your little thrust bearing. And this is exact way it came off. So I'm going to take this off and stack it up right in here in my little tray over here. And then I'll remember how this stuff went in when I go to grease it. So it's pretty simple. Now I don't know if this stud comes out of here. I'm not going to take it out. There is an Allen wrench in there. I'll snap a photo of that. But I'm not taking it out. It could possibly come out of there. We're not going to mess with it. So I'll never know if I can replace this chuck till the time comes to do it. This one's good. It'll be all cleaned up. You'll see it in a picture with it all nice and shiny with the wire brush. I did take some carb cleaner to all this stuff and wire brushed uh, your teeth out. You know, make sure there's nothing in there. You're going to put new grease in there. So I did do all that and clean this out. And we're going to just use some of that uh, assembly lube because this drill won't be used a whole lot we're just going to use some of this that black I did another drill just some of this that molly graphite because it's not going to be if I was using this drill every day I would not put this light of grease in it this drill is not going to be used a whole lot it's just going to be put away used once in a while so stay tuned we'll show you when we get down what these brushes and everything looks like in that part of the drill so I think I've covered this pretty good just pay attention when you take things apart take pictures you'll see pictures in the end when I was taking this part with all the gunky grease in it so stay tuned and we'll be on to the next part okay we're moving right along here we've got our parts laid out over in here uh, we will be cleaning this up. You can use a pencil eraser on that. I have some fine steel wool. I have some triple O and double O Which I've been doing the case with. We'll give you a little sneak preview of that. You can see it shiny there That was a 3-0 2 or 3-0 then the next grade 4-0 so it's kind of experimenting I used a rougher grit than a finer grit so that's all we're going to do to polish that up. Okay, I don't know if you can see my chicken scratches here, but we drew a picture of how the brushes went, the bottom. See how that's angled? We're going to put these in the same way, and they are laid out over here, top and bottom. We want to put them in the same exact way as they came out, just to make sure if you flip it around, it might wear uh, really bad or something. So you can understand my chicken scratches there. But... There's not a lot back here once you get the switch off. I did take a couple pictures. You'll see how when I first get it apart. And take your brushes out first, then pull this out. Don't just pull this out. Brushes spring go flying. Take your brushes out first. 
the little screw caps that go on there. I'm not going to mess with these holders and anything that holds it. Uh, we did the air compressor that. We'll do it again. We'll give it the air compressor. The brushes, the tips there, if they got a little grease, I think we'll just take... Uh, I'm just kind of scared to use brake cleaner and stuff. I'm just going to take something, lighter fluid, something just to clean the tip and maybe a little bit of uh, like 400 grit sandpaper just to make sure they're nice and fresh carbon. And of course this will be super clean. Get all the grease and gunk off it. You can see there's a lot of gunk on there. It's pretty nasty. Just don't break no wires or nothing on that stuff. Don't be taking aggressive brush or anything. Kind of just clean it off. Use whatever cleaner you want to use. They make electric motor cleaner. But that's about it. I'll start assembly again. And no need to show that. I got enough pictures showing how this get it apart, how the switch went. That wire I have may not fit in here. Pretty small hole. We are going to ground somewhere to the case, somewhere on this metal, somewhere in here, there'll be a ground wire, because these are not safe anymore used without putting a ground wire. So, this little clip right here is a little too long, so stay tuned, we'll probably bring you back when it's all together, and then we'll, like I said, we'll have plenty of photographs. Well, there you have it. A little bit hard to get back together. That is a rivet to hold the ground wire. I don't know if I have a picture of that or not, but that's how I grounded. I could not hook it anywhere in here. This all goes together pretty tight. There is a screw that holds the switch mechanism in here, and I cannot go between that. It would not let this close up. So that was my best option. It doesn't catch on your hand or nothing. It's not that noticeable. That's just steel wool. I said 302 old, whatever I had. But I did all that. I had it apart so I don't have no metal filings inside the drill. So there you go. Hope I got enough pictures of this. It's kind of help if anybody comes across these old drills. But thanks again for watching.